Megalodons are absolutely mental. As made famous by literally one of the worst movies ever made starring Jason Statham, the Megalodon was essentially a prehistoric shark that lived somewhere between 2.6 to 23 million years ago. It's considered to be one of the largest predators to have ever existed on this planet, with estimates suggesting that it could grow up to 60 feet long and weigh up to 100 tonnes, which is intense because that probably means it could literally snort dolphin. The Megalodon was blessed with an extremely robust body, as well as a conical snout filled with extremely large and very sharp teeth that could grow up to seven inches long, which I would like you to take a moment to dwell upon, because that means that the teeth of a Megalodon could essentially grow longer than what a man would consider to be above average. Its jaw alone was estimated to be more than six feet wide, and its bite force has been estimated to be around 18,000 pounds, which for context is about what we would expect necessary to crunch a nuclear submarine. Megalodons were found in oceans all over the world and lived in warm, shallow waters. They fed on a variety of marine animals, including whales, dolphins and seals, as well as large fish such as swordfish and tuna. Some studies suggest that the megalodon had a diverse diet and may have even scavenged on the carcasses of other marine animals. Megalodon went extinct approximately 2.6 million years ago during the Pliocene epoch, but nobody really knows why. There's no consensus among scientists regarding the cause of their extinction. Some theories suggest that a change in ocean temperatures and sea level, a decline in their prey and population, or competition with other predators such as Jason Statham. 